Hello there! It is exciting when I'm hunting for Star Wars toys and find things to fill holes in my collection. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 132, more Hot Wheels starships and vehicles. <laughs> In September of 2022, I posted a video featuring my collection of the 2021 and 2022 Hot Wheels starships and cars based on Star Wars characters and starships in the movies and TV shows. While I do have a decent collection of these, I was missing quite a few of them. Well, since then, I have been able to find a few more to fill in those holes. Still don't have them all. Probably will never find them all, but at least I'm happier that I got a few more. Now, if I can get them in the box here or not, remains to be seen. Now, before I share these with you, I would just like to remind you to once again, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can really help out this channel when you do those things because it lets, the, lets YouTube know that there are people interested in this type of video. So, once again, I'd like to thank you for doing those things. Now, what do you say? Let's get started, huh? Okay, this is not going to be a big, long video. Not as long as it was when I did the original box here because I don't have quite as many. I've got two Starship and four cars to add to this collection, which is kind of nice. Fills in, like I said, a few blank, blank holes. So, first of all, let's do the cars, shall we? And the first car I have to show you is R2-D2. Actually, this one looks kind of neat. We've got a clear top, but it's clear instead of metallic. So kind of nice. Got the nice blue and white colors. Kind of a smaller car, of course, because R2-D2 is not all that big either. But you got to enjoy those big pipes coming off the side of the car there. So not too bad a car there with R2-D2. The next one we have here is a Dark Trooper. And this is more like a truck, as you can see. A Dark Trooper truck. Say that three, three times really fast. But if we look at this a little closer, we can see that, yeah, it's pretty much all black, like the Dark Troopers were, with a little bit of red in the eyes, though, of the Dark Trooper. I guess the windows have a little bit of a red tint to them. So there is a little bit of red there. Kind of a big, heavy-duty, almost looks like an armored truck, don't you think? Unfortunately, trying to fill the holes in, sometimes I just got to take what there is. We got the bubble here is broken, but... At least I got the car. And by the way, both of these were $3.97. $3.97. In fact, I think all four cars were. The next one we have here is Fennec Shan's car. And as you can see, the color scheme follows her armor again, especially her helmet. Very sleek looking, very low to the ground type thing. This is a high, fast paced muscle car, you could almost say. So not too bad, kind of, it's kind of neat. I could see playing with this, especially if you had a Hot Wheels track. That one would be fun to see go around the track and so forth. The last one of the cars I have is Wrecker from the Bad Batch. As you can see, once again, it is a truck, just like the Dark Trooper here. But Wrecker is more of a pickup type truck. And it's got the fun little stripes of Wrecker on the truck. Red wheels, because Wrecker likes his red. Not too bad. I do like the white stripe going down the middle. Kind of like Wrecker's helmet there. So there we have it. Four more cars to add to the collection I have. So like I said, I don't have them all yet, but we're getting closer. Someday, maybe I'll happen to come across the other ones. We'll see. I'm not holding my breath because it's been a while now since these have been out, but we'll see. Okay, back in that September video, I showed three of the starships that I had so far. We have Boba Fett starship. And we have the Razor Crest, and we have a TIE Fighter. So three nice ships to start the collection with. Well, we've got two more now because these were number two, three, and four. So I knew I was missing at least one, number one. Well, I did not find number one, but I did find number six and eight. Number six happens to be Darth Vader's Advanced TIE Fighter or TIE Advanced, if you want to call it that. 
looks really nice. They did a good job on the detail with this one. A lot of detail on the top of the ship there. Granted, it's just kind of etched into it, but still looks pretty sharp. Heavy little bugger. There's a little bit of metal in this one. By the way, these are die casts, in case you didn't know that. So there we go. Number six of Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And by the way, these do come with the base, and the base has a 360 swivel on it, so you can kind of put the starship however you want on the thing. Number eight happens to be the Imperial Shuttle. Pretty decent detailing on it. I like the weathered look that they put on this thing. Looks pretty good. This ship has been around the planet a few times, you could say. Very well done. Looks like the wings do fold, which is nice. And yeah, if we look at the back of the box here, it does show that the wings do fold up. Again, it does come with the 360 swivel degree base, or 360 degree swivel base. So, found two more to they add to the collection, but it now tells me that I'm missing even more than I thought. Because now I'm missing number five, seven, and who knows what else. When I look at the back of these new ones, and it might be this is a separate wave. Maybe there was one through four on the first wave and five through eight in the second wave. But the ones I'm missing from the looks of it are Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Interceptor and the Millennium Falcon. Who knew? Which one am I missing from the first wave? Well, that would be the X-Wing Fighter Red 5. I know I'm missing at least three now out of the eight. Where before it was just one out of the four. That didn't seem quite so bad. And I have never seen that X-Wing in any of the stores. Like I said, maybe someday. But until then, that takes care of the additions to my Hot Wheels Starship and Diecast Car collection. What do you think? Do you save these things or not? Or do you pass them? Actually, the cars, to me, some of these are kind of silly. But the Starships are really sweet. I like these things. Of course, these cost more than those, but that's the way it works. Well, I've got one other thing that I'd like to show you quick before I close the video. If you remember, I've had a couple videos on puzzles, and I think I'm pretty much getting what the current puzzle line is out there, but I did happen to come across one more that I did not have, and it was kind of nice because this one features Obi-Wan Kenobi. features Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he's got a stormtrooper, a couple stormtroopers, laying on the floor in front of him as if he had sliced them because they got in his way. This is the old Alec Guinness Obi-Wan Kenobi, as you can see. So kind of a nice bit of artwork. Of course, this is not directly from the movie. It is a nice piece of artwork. So just thought I'd show you that quick because I don't think I'll be getting too many more puzzles unless all of a sudden they come out with a bunch more. And to tell the truth, I think I've got enough of them to put together for right now. Well, that takes care of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Let me know that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a comment. What do you think of these Hot Wheel things? What do you think of the puzzle? Until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.